Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly love spread for all of my Virgos out there for the week of August 10th into the 16th. So, let's get after it. Okay. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. So the cards I need to see. Some of the cards that I need to see. What kind of love or energy is coming towards my fellow Virgos out there? What kind of love or energy is coming towards my fellow Virgos out there during the week of August 10th to the 16th? Some of the cards that I need to see. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, so first up we have a air sign individual, okay? Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy, like yourself here. This is a very, this is very down to earth, grounded energy here with this individual. This individual is very, a very nurturing individual as well, and very grounded when it comes in terms of finances, pinnacles, if you will. So they're very down to earth, very grounded. This person is very good at. Um, very good at saving, savings, if you will. Very good at financial planning. Um, I'm getting that really, really uh, getting that sense with this individual here. This individual stored a great deal as far as the relationship goes with the guy with the seven of swords, if you will. So there's a lot of contemplating and reflecting that ha that this person has done um, as well. Also, you rep this represents here with the star card. This represents, you know, uh, represents a, a, a renewal or rebirth, an opportunity. So this person is coming towards you with no, uh, with no baggage whatsoever. They look at starting a, a fresh relationship with you as, as something new, something fresh here. So this is a truly a, a, a brand new start, a brand new opportunity here. We also here we have here we have the. Knights of Swords energy here too. That's an that's an air sign individual. If you were a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius energy here. And the Knight of Swords are all about very fast moving energy. Sometimes could be a little bit on a reckless side. Sometimes it really depends on the situation. All right. Um, they have the tendency to act first, think later. That's just pretty much going on here with this energy here. Um, so this in, this individual is moving very rapidly towards you. Um, consequences be damned pretty much with this individual here now this energy re represents an individual that you know very well this is an X energy it's a judgment card so we have an air sign X that's moving dead ahead right towards you um, th again I feel like this is like this 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 is like a last-ditch effort to try to uh, patch things up and fix things if you will here and finally in the spread for the final individual in the spread we have a water sign individual king of cups energy here so that is a cancer pisces or scorpio energy here if you will this person is very generous and very courteous not just with their with their time also pentacles as well now this person is single and that's what really stands out about this individual this this water sign individual is very single and they they, they pretty much are kind of happy being single okay um you know there's kind of solitarily happy with themselves you know you'll recognize this individual because this is a very i'm not gonna say an introverted person but this person kind of keeps to themselves a lot you know what i mean but um it's like when they get around you it's like they kind of come alive all right they really they kind of come alive and that and that's really you know it, it's a really noticeable energy as a matter of fact i get the sense that other people have noticed this too they pretty much probably mentioned it to you like you know you really bring out uh you really you really you really this this person really when you're when you're around this person really comes to life and i get the sense here that this is probably uh, been mentioned to you a couple times and this person may have even told you this themselves actually um also, I get the sense here, we have the Four of Wands here. This represents potentially a long-term committed relationship, even possible down the road. We're talking about possibly a marriage type of situation here. So, by all means, this definitely is something that is very serious. Okay, so, with all that being said, let's see, you know, what are the potential raw strengths of these particular situations here? Okay, so let's see what overall potential strengths of all these potential situations here.
So, first potential potential aspect here is we have the Knight of Swords. There's all the potential strengths here. So we we talked about that Knight of Swords energy kind of moving recklessly abandonment that's the kind of energy that's kind of flowing here like you know kind of like go for it just kind of go for it see where it takes you that kind of energy is here reckless abandonment so with 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 i, I get the sense with all of these particular situations kind of going forward head first would probably be the best course of action here because i really feel like uh at least in two of these situations that taking that approach will be beneficial where it wouldn't be beneficial maybe is the, the, the reconnecting again with the ex situation because I think that there's a, a, a thought process at least when you're on your end it's like kind of been there done that okay but taking a reckless abandon just kind of go for it go going for type of mentality may be warranted here with these particular situations okay we also got the death card endings and new beginnings that's another reason why that whole ex thing. Goose is probably cooked, okay? Uh, because you're looking for something new. You're looking at the new beginnings, if you will, out with the old, in with the new here. You're also looking with the, for an ace of pinnacle situation, a true tangible opportunity, something that has some gravitas to it, okay? Uh, something where you can pull your pull your whole heart into. You could create something solid, a foundation, if you will. Also, you're looking for a twin flame connection. And that's another reason why this X situation probably is not the best idea in the world because there's not a real uh you know they, they, you know you again looking for something fresh something new something tangible a twin flame connection here um quite possible you put some things out there or some things have come your way rather but at this point you got seven the seven of pentacles and you're kind of waiting to see what kind of things ripen on this vine if you will okay now with that being said here we have the seven of wands you definitely feel like you have the higher ground here for sure okay you have the higher ground here to, to, to stand uh, to stand your ground and your position is firm there's also a very high probability here that this is going to lead to a potential ace of cups situation and this ace of cups situation is very much tied into the lovers card here which represents you know true harmony working together true a, a true harmonious relationship here so definitely out of these three situations there absolutely positively is that um potential here for something really true something really deep a real opportunity here again i just want to uh throw a little caveat in there that whole x thing i really don't think that's where where you need to go back to um, I'm really, I, I kind of really have the sense here that kind of been there, done that. But you know, um, um, that could be potentially something too as well. I just kind of don't feel that and see that at this time. So that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to get. Before I just staying down, what additional information Spirit want to get? What additional information Spirit want to get before she? So, revision. Be careful about revision. And I believe this is tied directly into that whole X energy here where there's going to be this, this um, wanting to have a revisionist past, you know, where uh, with your, especially with your X here, you know, trying to say, well, things weren't as bad as you're trying to make them out to be and, 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 and kind to, you know, uh, uh, Use revision as revision as uh, perspective here of why things didn't work out here. Pretty much, spirit saying hold your ground with this situation. Also, this also you want to be in a relationship where there's going to be balance as well. Okay, and so with like I said, with the two, I really feel like there's an aspect for balance that's going to be here. Not so much stepping back into the X situation. And finally, here we have consistency. And all of these situations what you want to do is you want to make sure there's a sense of consistency so the behavior is consistent from one day to the next not one day it kind of feels like this then the next day is like that make sure there is an even temperedness here 
okay? And that's something that spirit, you know, you really want to pay attention to that, even with the other two individuals here. Make sure that, you know, the level of energy and level of attraction, rather, is, is consistent from one day to the next, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, okay? Um, but if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, again, I'll, I'll leave a link below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. However, if it does not resonate with you, okay, that's okay too, all right? And you want to know more about your particular situation, again, the link will be below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading, okay? And as always, if you guys haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe, all right? My name is Adonis. I love you guys. And I will absolutely, positively see you next time, okay? So enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.